Ari, what's up guys, Eric here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on, uh, Cheat Breaker. I mean, I'm here on Pop PvP just running around to talk about this, but, uh, I'm also gonna show some things on the screen. Alright guys, really quick, I wanna shout out Unbaked, he has been making my thumbnails, he made my Arcane thumbnail, um, and he made the thumbnail for this video too, and he's gonna be making me more, so please go check him out, he's in the description, if you just scroll down a little bit, uh, he is right there, I want you guys to give him a chance, go check him out, he makes videos himself, and yeah, let's get on with the video. So let's just get right into it. I've made a few videos like this, like, you know, my thoughts and stuff. Uh, the last one, which was my thoughts on Pop PvP versus PvP Lounge, you know, that video did crazy good. Still getting views to this day. It's doing so well. You know, it's on set to be one of my po most popular videos on my channel. So we're going to be doing one right here for Cheat Breaker, what I think about it, and just, you know, stuff about it. So uh, let's get right into it. What I think of it is I think it's going to be awesome. I've heard a, heard a lot about it. Um, I know that it, like, doubles your FPS for one thing. I don't know. Well, I do know how they did it. But, um, because yeah, it's your own client. Like, what Cheat Breaker is, if you don't know, is it's a client that you use instead of the Minecraft launcher. But it's still Minecraft that you're playing. But it's like, you know, Cheat Breaker. And what it does is it's a client-side anti-cheat. So you can't cheat. You know, like, it's just much more effective at catching cheaters that way. And it has, like, a global ban system. So that, like, you, you know, if you get banned through Cheat Breaker, you can't play servers anymore that use Cheat Breaker and all that kind of stuff. And it has a lot of other cool features on it. Um, I know for a fact that it like doubles your FPS, like I said, because it's just a lot more efficient than the regular Minecraft launcher. And there's so much more. So uh, it's mainly just an anti-cheat. It's owned by it's J-Halt, and uh, I don't know who else is fully involved in it, but like it's run by the people over at MineHQ too, and uh, you know MineHQ Arcane and the, you know that Ultra server that they're making. So yeah, that's what it is. And uh, let's go over a couple things. So I'm actually gonna switch over, and we're gonna look through their website. Alright guys, here we are on the Cheat Breaker website, and you know, first impressions, it looks really nice. Obviously, the Cheat Breaker logo is fucking, like, it's so nice. I love the Cheat Breaker logo. And just the website as a whole has a really nice design. You know, it doesn't look like a MineHQ website. It's obviously a different thing. You know, they are separate. They're not, like, the same thing together. Cheat Breaker is going to be for a lot more servers than just the MineHQ servers. Uh, so what they have so far is they obviously have the download button, which doesn't work yet. You know, it's not out yet. Uh, requires Windows 7, so that's fine. Uh, I feel bad for people with Macs. Um, I actually, you know, had a little back and forth with someone on Twitter about this. Uh, they're not adding Mac, you know, capabilities. I think they might in the future, but they don't plan to add Mac capabilities. So if you have a Mac, you have to use boot, boot camp and, you know, use Windows and stuff, which does kind of suck. Um, but, I mean, most people that play this game do have Windows PCs anyway, and you can technically use it with a Mac. You have to get boot or boot camp or whatever so that you can run Windows, but you can still use it. Okay, so let's scroll down. So core features, you know, easy experience installing, mods and stuff, uh, access to cheap breaker only games and matches on participating servers like MineHQ Pop PvP. Uh, so like, you know, in my, for example, in MineHQ Pop PvP, uh, in the ranked matches, it, you're gonna have to have cheap breaker in order to play it. So there's not gonna be any cheaters in ranked. Enjoy a faster, cleaner experience with cheap breakers, numerous performance upgrades that often result in more than double your normal FPS, which I have seen you know, like in like not in person, but like I've seen videos and stuff, uh, and like streams. All right, why Cheat Breaker? Okay, so Cheat Breaker automatically updates mods and shit like that. I actually didn't know that. I'm reading this for the first time right now. Um, it automatically updates all the mods. You don't have to find the up to date versions. You can switch accounts from in game account managers. You know, switch servers from your server list before disconnecting from the one you're on. That's actually cool, and more FPS can't hurt. So like, it's a whole it's Minecraft, but it's like a whole different launcher with a lot of different features. Here's some screen stuff, screenshots, I can't talk today, of what it looks like. So, that's what it looks like in-game, or this, I guess. I guess it's either one. Uh, if, we, if we zoom in here, there's single player and multiplayer. Oh, okay. And then let's go back down there. Oh, fuck. Let's go back to here. There's serverless. Oh, so you can do all this from in-game. This is an in-game list. You can go to your serverless from there. Um, I guess that's the only... Oh, all right. There's one more picture. Oh, okay. So, this one's important. So, if, if a server is using Cheat Breaker... It's like, you know, like officially using Tree Breaker. It has this like thing next to the server list, which is important so that you know what servers are actually using Tree Breaker. Because I think people are probably going to try to fake it, you know, if they didn't do that. Um, so that's cool. And then what else? Here, if we go over to the fact, uh, what is Tree Breaker? I already went over this. Uh, does it really boost my frames? Yes, it does. Can I use it on any server? Yes, you can. Is it really free? Yes, it is because of my HQ and Arcane. Uh, how do Cheat Breaker bans work? This is important. So if you're detected cheating on any protected server, your account IP and hardware ID will be banned for 18 months. 18 months is a long time. That's, you know, almost two years. So if you do, you know, cheat with Cheat Breaker and you get banned, you won't be able to play any servers using Cheat Breaker. That's MineHQ, Arcane, Ultra.Rip, which is their UHC server they're opening. Uh, things like other servers might be using it. All right, so let's head back to Endgame. We'll talk about everything. Alright, so that was just kind of like information about what Cheat Breaker is, but let's talk about what I really do think about it. So I think Cheat Breaker is kind of going to be revolutionary for this community, especially. Um, 
So there's gonna be a lot of people cheat in this community because people want to be good. And, you know, they play lounge, they cheat, they play pop PvP even, and they cheat. Even though there's not that much of a problem that I've noticed with cheaters, there are cheaters on here. And with cheat breaker, they won't be able to. And in ranked, that's a big deal because everyone in ranked will be legitimately in ranked. It'll be legit. And that's really cool to actually think about because no server has had that. I mean, G cheat on bad line is really good, but it's still not perfect. And uh, what I think about, you know, speaking of G cheat, uh, obviously Bad Lion has Bad Lion Premium, which is a similar thing to Cheat Breaker, except it's based more around just the Bad Lion servers. Um, I think I saw a thing on Twitter that they posted where they were, you know, supporting each other, Cheat Breaker and Bad Lion Premium. Cheat Breaker and Bad Lion Premium are sort of like not working together, but they have the same goal. And they said publicly on Twitter, like, hey, we support each other. Like, we obviously want to better the experience. We have the same goal. And that's, I think, something that's really cool to see because I know that the servers, Bad Lion and like MyHQ and stuff, I don't think they're very close, but to see that they're kind of working together to improve the community as a whole and you know minecraft as a whole it's really cool to see that happen uh personally i've never used bad line premium i do have it because i have lion rank on bad line so i have two years of bad line premium for free i haven't downloaded it but i'm definitely going to be downloading cheap breaker uh because that looks really cool and uh also you can use it on other servers i don't know how bad line premium works with other servers once again i haven't you know used it so don't quote me on saying that you can't use it with other servers but <clears throat> i don't really know so my expectations for this is that in the future, within the next couple months, they'll be releasing it to other servers, not like publicly for free, but like, you know, a lot of servers will get partnered with it. And I think that in the future, if a server doesn't have cheat breaker, it's going to be like a deal breaker for a lot of players because we're going to get used to having no cheaters to fight. And, you know, that's going to be something that's actually a really good thing. But the problem is for new servers that maybe won't be able to pay for cheat breaker, you know, they it'll be harder to get players because if you don't see that little logo next to it, maybe you think, hey, you know, there's going to be so many cheaters on the server. I'm not going to play <clears throat> and, you know, spend my money there. I had to put a pot pie in the oven, so I had to cut the recording there, but uh, I forget what I was saying. What I think I was saying was that servers, if you know, they won't be able to buy Cheat Breaker, maybe like the licensing, and then players aren't going to be able to, or won't not be able to, but won't end up playing it because Cheat Breaker, I think, is going to become a norm. I think it's going to be, hey, if your server doesn't have Cheat Breaker, there's something wrong because cheaters are very annoying, especially in this community because there are just so many of them. So many people cheat, you know, ghost clients and everything. I really hope Cheat Breaker works as well as they say it's going to if, to stop cheating because like if it doesn't then that would be kind of a letdown but if it really is as good as it says then we're not going to have to worry about that anymore. A lot of people who you think are good are just going to all of a sudden become bad or they're going to quit and um, that's going to be really great to actually play ranked with people that are really playing. You know I definitely fight cheaters at least once a day not really on pop pvp as much but definitely on lounge uh, and on pop pvp sometimes too you know I made a video about one of them and this is definitely going to help that out a ton um to really finish that point about the other servers though i think that cheap breaker logo on the side of the server list is going to become like a necessity to new server owners so maybe that's going to become like when you make a server there are some things that you say okay these are the things i have to buy which is like the server itself the domain and advertising and you know there's a couple other things that go in there and um i think that that's going to become one of those necessary like hey we have to buy this um otherwise we can't open so there's not much more that I know about Cheat Breaker. I just wanted to give my thoughts on what was going to happen with it and, you know, that I thought it was good and everything. I think it's a great thing and I'm so excited to see what it's really like. Um, what I do think I could do is if a lot more information comes out and Cheat Breaker doesn't come out that soon, then maybe I can make a follow-up video if, you know, there's more information and stuff. Not that this is news, this is more my thoughts, but I can give my thoughts on, you know, more information. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on this video. Let's see if we could hit 45 likes. That would be absolutely amazing if we could. And uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. Peace out.